guy is next on the list. This is um, Tommy Bahama, and it is a penguin martiki, martiki shaker. What's a martiki? I've never had one. Martini. Oh, you can tell I don't drink alcohol. A martini shaker. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen Lavender Clothesline, and I use that name on eBay and Instagram. Uh, if you're not following my Instagram account, you might want to take a look at some crazy things that I've been selling. I usually post over there about what my items have brought on eBay and on two local marketplaces, OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. I am also just about to put my items in an antique booth, so very exciting news there. So some of what I bought this week and I will show you are going to go to the antique booth. Some of it I will sell locally and probably the majority of it on eBay. I've been an eBay full-time seller for just about six years now and I make my living this way. I am 50, almost 59 years old, so it can be done. It's a little crazy at times, but great fun and I'm very appreciative to be able to earn a living this way. So without further ado, today is pretty much a hard goods haul. Hard goods came pouring out into both, all three thrift stores that I was at. So let's get started and I'll try to remember what I paid for things and let you know what I know about things. As my followers know, I don't know a lot about a lot of subjects, but I'm learning every day by picking up items and selling them. So let's get started and I will tell you what I think the item uh, might bring. Okay, so the first item that we're gonna talk about are these shoes. I actually got two pairs of them, probably from the same donor, and these are Fly London. Fly London is a great brand to sell. I love selling it doesn't sit long if it's priced, uh, even if it's priced a little high, I get good money for these. Within the past year, I'm gonna say I've sold Fly London shoes for probably close to the $100 mark. So I got these uh, both for $747, and I'm expecting these to bring, now I haven't run comps, probably 50 to 60. So great find there, and that's our first item. The next item I'll talk about are these coffee mugs, very big mugs. This is Opal House, put out by Target. They don't bring a lot of money. I'm gonna say probably eight to $10, but I found the two. I paid $3 a mug, which is a little bit high. This store has higher price. The other stores I go to uh, generally do a dollar a mug. I'm gonna really have to consider that with what a mug will bring. That's a little bit high for a mug for me. So $6 for the two, hopefully I'll get 20 and um, won't be so bad. So yes to Opal House, Pretty mugs, but I should have brought at a lower price point. The next item is a really cool item that I found. This is a Sport Goggle 2. It's very fancy. This is Bosch & Long. They are uh, vintage Sport Goggles. They don't seem like they're really high quality. And what I thought was very funny is this is a sponge foam on the inside. So I guess the wearer just had sponge foam. How cool is that? <laughs> but I thought the graphic on the box was just wonderful and in the keywords in my title on eBay I will probably put movie prop. Sometimes different production houses look for items, vintage items, if they're you know shooting a production, a vintage movie or whatever, so I said yes to these. $2.97. They don't look like they've ever been worn and are just hysterical. So yes to vintage items with very cool graphic boxes. And again, I had $2.97. I'm not sure what I'll put um, these on for because I researched them and there are none. So I have to re do deeper research in Google and start down that path. But um, I thought they were quite cool. So yes to those. Okay, what else? Let's talk about these angel figurine ornaments because they have string on their backs. I got four of these, uh, there's three, let's see if I can hold four, okay, so there they are, and I'm going to read one of the backs, these are made in Italy, uh, let me grab my reader glasses so I can read this for you guys, this is put out by Simonelli, De Pose, is that how we say that, Italy, 1984, and they're numbered. 
So um, they seem to be made of like a rubber material, like a hard rubber. I'm not sure what that is. But I said yes to them. They're beautifully painted. They look hand painted to me. I could be wrong about that. But when I research them, there are some on, on eBay. And I will probably set the four of them at the $60 mark. I paid $2.97 for the four. And I went strictly on how beautiful they were, how they were painted. And even if they turned out not to be made in Italy, I still feel that uh, $3 was a great price to pay for four beautiful angels. Next up, I picked up a wooden turtle. I don't know what he is, if he's a chick. That doesn't look big enough to be a trinket box. I'm thinking maybe a votive candle goes in there. Mm, that's all I got, I'm not quite sure. He looks to be hand carved, not especially well done, but I thought he was sweet. This might be for the souvenir trade. And I said yes to him. I paid $2 for him and people love turtles. So I'm thinking about $20 for this turtle. Sticking with the wood theme, I picked up two walking sticks and I paid $3 for both of them. Well, $3 each, not together. The first one is a piece of twisted wood. It's a heavy wood. I'm not sure what wood this is. I'm not sure what kind of tree grows twisted like that. I know there are certain vines, like bittersweet grows like that, but this isn't bittersweet. So I'm guessing it's a, a, some sort of exotic wood maybe. And that's all I got on that subject. <laughs> and yes, so I said yes to a $3 twisted wood walking stick and a carved animals, kind of looks African maybe, walking stick with a handle top. Thought this was very cool. I thought somebody would want this. Elephant, lion, zebra, and two lion heads on the bottom. Again, I paid $3. I'm thinking I'll probably be able to get $30 for this one and maybe $25 for the twisted one. So I said yes to both of those. Okay, so we did the angels, we did that. This guy is next on the list. This is um, Tommy Bahama and it is a penguin martini shaker. I think, that's what I'm guessing this is. I thought this was a super cool addition to anybody's bar and I just thought this was great fun. So stainless steel, yes to Tommy Bahama. Martini shakers, yes. Did I say what I paid for that? $4, I paid $4, I'm gonna look for 30. The next item is uh, probably saturated. It's not a great company. It's not a high dollar profit return. Then why in the world did I pick this up? Can you guess? This is so good, this is so good. This is Home Interiors. I paid a little bit too much for this. I paid $5 for this. This would have been good for $2, but I thought this was really a pretty graphic and it is 2003 Home Interiors Protecting Old Glory. I did not research this. I picked it up. I could return it if I want. My Goodwill takes returns and that's where this one came from, but I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna try this at the $25 mark and I'll be okay with that type of profit. So um, sometimes it's not always, you know, a gorgeous high quality brand, but sometimes it's okay for me, for my business model, to pick up something like this and just get 25 out of it. All right, so we did that. Moving on to another statue that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't look up, this eagle. I'm just loving eagles lately. I'm just in an eagle, the eagle part of my life. Maybe there's something uh, cry cryptic, cryptic about that. You can tell I'm tired. This was $4, Crystal Cathedral House of Power, 25th anniversary of the Eagles Club, 2008, and has a scripture. So this might have been put out by a religious organization, maybe like the 700 Club on television. I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference to me. It's beautiful, just gorgeous. And the thing I liked about this is it didn't have the organization's name printed anywhere on the outside. So if somebody didn't agree with that organization or didn't belong to it, it doesn't matter. They could set this down on a table and it's just a beautiful statue of an eagle. I believe he's porcelain, he could be ceramic. He's ceramic, he's not porcelain, but uh, just beautiful, no chips or cracks. And I paid $4. 
I expect him to bring probably about $30. That's what I'm gonna price him at. And I have not run comps, so I'm sure you guys will tell me if I have a great treasure here or if I bought something that's only worth $5. I count on you guys. So um, yes to good eagles that are in great shape and are very beautiful to look at. How's that for a business model? Oy. Okay, next up, <laughs> staying with, with the theme of these things really aren't worth as much as I say they are. Um, this is Elizabeth Arden. It's a trinket dish. It was probably a promotion with one of their products, I'm guessing. And I will market this as a sphinx or an Egyptian cat or whatever Egyptian cat words there are. I thought he was really good. I have not comped him. I have not looked at him. And yeah, I just thought he was really cute. And he's, he's got painted design with gold. Really sweet. So I said yes to him. And I paid $1.97 for him. So not bad for $1.97. The next item up that I want to talk about is this little picture. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm trying to move through a lot of product in uh, the shortest video I can. Okay, so I paid 97 cents. I think this is artist done. I'm not positive, it could be a print, but her name is Angelica. And her name, Angelica, is a little crooked. So I'm not sure if that was done on purpose. She has a flocked velvet mat. So super cute, 97 cents. I totally went by what she looked like. And the back of this is not poorly done. That's not bad. I wish Angelica had a friend. I'd like two or three of these, but I thought this was really sweet. She almost reminds me of Madeline. She's not Madeline. Did Madeline have a friend, Angelica? I don't know my Madeline story, but um, yes, so 97 cents, I said yes. All right, the next item is one that I usually don't pick up, milk glass. Do we have a collective grown? Ugh. But it's hobnail, it's got the golden little ball globe thing. I liked this. I'm going to look for a shade for a dollar or two to cap it because I feel like a lamp with a shade will sell much quicker, of course, including the cost of the shade and building it into the cost of the lamp for the person. But I thought this was really nice. A little boudoir, a little nightstand lamp. And um, no, I haven't tested if it worked or not because I didn't have a bulb. But like I said, my thrift stores, almost all of them take returns, so I'm really blessed that way. And I'm pretty sure this will work. It looks like it's in great shape. And if it doesn't work, I will not repair it because I don't got time for that kind of stuff. But yes, two cute little lamps. And uh, I, will, I might even put this in the antique booth that, um, that I'll be opening. Okay, staying with the light, the light theme, I have this little light. I think I picked up four lamps in that one store. This is a little Tiffany style lamp and it has heart design, which I've never seen before. I thought that was sweet. And it has slag glass. Slag glass is the opaque glass, I believe we call this. And it's got striation in it. It's got a little variation of color in it. So I thought this was really nice. Brass base. Again, I didn't test it, but it looks fine. I'm sure this works. If it doesn't, yeah, there's that, but you take a chance. What did I pay for this guy? I paid $2.97. So that, oh, I'm sorry, $4.97. So $5 for this little lamp. And I'll probably get, I'm gonna guess $30 for him. We didn't know it was a him, did we? Okay, moving on. I picked up this big Tiffany style lamp. This is heavy, this is beautiful. This has got a rose pattern. No twirl it all around for you. Very pretty. These are still highly sought after. You would think that maybe not many people have this type of decor in their home, but Tiffany lamps are still very viewed. So I will ship this on eBay if I have to. I package the pieces separately. I take the shade off and package that in a box and then package the brass base and then put both those boxes within a box. So it does wind up being a little bit large and quite heavy, but um, that's how I've sold them and I do well with them. So yes to beautiful Tiffany style lamps. Okay, right here I just have three little cheese knives and this is a set. I'm looking at the pattern. It's a rose pattern. It has a mix of gold tone and silver tone. This is put out by Royal Albert. And I imagine this three will probably bring 
I'm going to say $22, around the $22 mark, and I paid $1.97 for the three. Okay, so the next item that I want to show, I was thrilled to find. Look at these boots. Do we love good boots? We love good boots. These are men's. They are leather with a flame embroidered design. And these are Lucchese. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I was thrilled to get these $7.97. So I really got blessed with this pickup. Not quite sure what these will bring, but they are in amazing condition. Uh, see if I could show you the bottom of that boot. Can you guys see that? Only worn a few times. I'm guessing off the top of my head, at least $80, if not higher. So yes to beautiful leather boots made in the USA. And what else? Did I finish this table? I think I did this table. Let's talk about what's back here. Okay, the next thing I found, Scotty Dog, Lasso Wapso. What kind of dog is this, guys? I should know this, I know this. This is a terrier. That's not a Scotty, is it? I don't know. Okay, so you guys will let me know what kind of dog this is. I know what kind of dog this is. It's a ceramic dog. Anyways, I paid $6.97. A lot of times the figurines that are like this will be from a mold that is marked on the bottom. I don't see the marking here. I see the person's name who made it, and she made it in 1992. She hand signed it but I'm not seeing the mold name. Usually it'll say like Atlantic mold or Byron molds or I'm not seeing that with this one. Could be because I don't have my glasses on. There's always that. But um, I said yes to him strictly on how beautifully he's painted. I love him. And he does have a little tiny bit of chipping here. He's got a chip right here. Can you see that? And he's got a chip right here. But I don't think that's that bad. And the front of him is good. No chips. Oh. His ear has a little tiny ding. It's not even a chip. It's almost like the paint. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that. Can we see that? There he is right there. But um, I said yes to him. I paid $7 for him. And I'm hoping to get probably 30 to 40 I might sell him locally. I don't know that I really want to ship him. So there's always that. Always that to take into consideration. Can you guys see this crock back here? I'm not gonna lift this because it's so heavy. This is a crock that I found. It has a spigot and I love the blue stripe aesthetic of these. This crock is very heavy and that's one of the things when I go to lift a piece of pottery, I try to judge if it's stoneware, the weight of it. it. Seems like a lot of the items that are newer, contemporary, China, mass produced, sold in Walmart are very light when you pick them up. The heavy ones that are made in USA, right there, it's got two things going for it. So I will market this crock uh, with kombucha in the title, uh, lemonade, you know, the ideas of what you would use this crock for. Recently, I started making kombucha and I needed a crock, uh, which I bought a plain one in a thrift store because new crocks can be quite expensive. And um, I loved making kombucha, a little time consuming. So right now I don't have a batch going. But kombucha making is very popular right now, so I think crocs are probably more sought after, let's say, than just drinking lemonade, if all of that makes sense. Again, the spigot is metal, that's what I look for, and I look on the inside to see if the spigot has its gasket, if the gasket is moldy, if it's in good condition, if it's um, dry rotted in any way. So I look at the inside of the crock too, I look for surface cracks. This one's in great shape. So really excited. Like I said, this thing weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> Unless I'm just getting weaker, like there could be that too. And it's got a crown. Not sure who's making this research once again. This I'm convinced will bring really good money. Did I say what I paid for it? $7, that's a, that's a common price with this haul. Okay. Next up is this hurricane light. It's also called Gone with the Wind light uh, or lamp. And I paid, you guessed it, $6.97. I think whoever was pricing this day just had one roll of stickers and they all said $6.97, which isn't so horrible. I think it works out in my favor. I put this solely on the aesthetic of the flowers. You guys know me. I very much pay attention to how something is painted, the colorway, all of those things. So no chips or cracks. It's beautiful. 
I'll probably sell this local because I have shipped these before. These are a drag to ship. You really got to take it apart. There's usually the hurricane glass inner lamp shade and then the outer shade. So it's really something that has to be taken apart and packed separately. So I'm a little over that these days. I mean, I will ship it out, but I'd rather sell it locally and um, even take a few dollars less. So yes to beautiful hurricane gone with the wind lamps. Okay, next up is this lamp. Just ignore the shade because the shade is garbage. I'm just gonna throw that out. This lamp is a lamp that I rarely pick up. Made in China, contemporary, like 2009. Very rarely do I pick up these lamps. But I really thought this was nice. There was something very attractive about this. I love the shape. I love that it's silver. I don't know, it's just very pretty. So that's what made me buy this. Solely on the way it looked, I paid $4. And I'm thinking I could flip this probably for about 25. Like I said, I will probably replace the shade. When I see shades at the thrift stores that are in good condition, I keep a little list in my handbag of what height shades I need. So I just whip out a little list. Yep, paper and pencil. I'm still doing that because the whole phone thing is just, <sighs> I do have my phone notes filled, but a lot of times I just jot something down on a piece of paper. And yeah, I thought this was really pretty. So that's why I bought that. Okay. The last item that I'm going to show today, I don't do a lot of electronics, speakers, stereos. I have a few, but I, I have a tendency to not want to deal with electronics. But these speakers are a very good brand name. I'm sure I'm going to butcher it when I pronounce the name. I'll spell it first. So it is K-L-I-P-S-C-H. Klipsch. Klipsch. <laughs> is that correct? You guys can spell it phonetically for me if I'm spelling it wrong. Two of these I got. There's another one back there. Uh, tower speakers, I guess these are called. So I paid $15 for the two, which is probably one of the highest price points that I've paid for something electronic. But I recognize that name. I put it into a comp search and I didn't find these exact speakers. I didn't spend that kind of time. But the amount of money that this brand brings, I'm convinced that I'm going to be able to way more than triple my money. So mostly I look for five times my money. So if I pay $5 for something, I want it to sell for at least 25 to 30 because on eBay, you have 15% fees. And then if you're running a promotion, you might have a couple of percentage off that way. And then you're paying taxes on the money, blah, 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 blah. We all know that routine. So I don't want to just get a couple of dollars out of something this time consuming. I'm going to have to carefully pack this to ship it, find the proper box, you know, good photos, listing it, all the things. So but I said yes to a $15 investment on two very good brand speakers. So that is my whole video for today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me once again. I appreciate all of your comments and everybody messaging and some of you are even buying in my store. Thank you so much for all of your support and, and your kind words. And if you're not following or subscribing or liking or ringing a bell notification, do all the things so we could just keep this video going. Thanks so much guys. And as usual, go out and get what's yours. Bye.